One of Wisconsin's top-ranking members in Congress, Representative Mike Gallagher, says he will be vacating his seat next month. Gallagher's announcement comes in addition to a series of other lawmakers on Capitol Hill, mainly Republicans, choosing not to seek re-election. Political reporter Darielle Fair has you covered on the greater implications of Gallagher's decision to leave Congress. Wisconsin Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher, who confirmed last month he would not be seeking re-election, announced plans to resign from Congress early. He's in a house in which an awful lot of members are less interested in policy and more interested in being on cable news. Gallagher's term was set to end next January, but in a statement he released on Friday, he said he was making the decision to resign effective April 19th. Going on to say he was working with Republican leadership in the House to appoint a new chair to serve on the Chinese Communist Party subcommittee. Gallagher is the chairman of that high-profile select committee and is among several other Republicans in leadership who will not be running in November because of divisions within the party. For someone like Gallagher to have achieved an important policymaking position but be caught in a House that's as unable to operate as the House has been most of this year. Uh, I think that must be a frustration. Gallagher's decision to vacate his seat is yet another blow to House Speaker Mike Johnson, further narrowing majorities for the GOP conference in the House. Republican Representative Ken Buck of Colorado is set to leave Congress this week, cutting the GOP's majority down to just 218 seats. Gallagher's absence would make it 217, meaning Republicans would have just one deciding seat on any vote if all House Democrats vote along party lines. It's clear that this fall's elections are going to focus on the presidential race, but the House is very much up for grabs, just a razor-thin Republican majority. Gallagher made the announcement just hours after far-right Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene filed a motion to oust Speaker Mike Johnson. The House adjourned for a two-week recess today and will not consider that motion until after it returns.